537. And if anybody wants to borrow uh, Russ the Kate's prom tux, I'm sure you're ready. You, you know, still in good condition. It's pretty good looking tux. Yeah. You, you want a photo of that at some point, Katie man. Blue? That, that's going to come out. That's going to come out of the archives. All yeah. Right. No, it was a steely gray, of course. Ooh, you should have known that, right? Yeah. Steely. Yeah. Might have been a three piece number, too. We'll pull that photo wow. up for you at some point, my friend. Good morning, everybody. We got some clouds behind me with no showers on the radar for a change. I don't know that that holds up all day long. Here's this very complicated weather system we have across the uh, BC uh, area now with the low that's primarily over Alberta. And look at this return flow, this jet stream all the way offshore. Huge wraparound. It's the same deep trough of low pressure becoming elongated somewhat with a little bit of a default high pressure ridge building in the middle of it. That means some clearing for parts of the interior. In fact, we're seeing some calming and some clearing around sections of the south coast already. Seven degrees in Abbotsford, clouds in the valley, eight degrees in Chilliwack. Now, for the Fraser Valley, the plan is to add extra clouds this morning. There's still a chance of showers or a thunder shower popping up. That might be 10, 11 o'clock this morning towards noon, give or take. Later today, we'll certainly get some sunny breaks, 17 in the valley, but extra clouds hang around tonight. Metro Vancouver, mind you, we're seeing clearing already. It's nine degrees in Burnaby. It's seven to Watson, seven in Surrey. We won't see anywhere near as much clouds, certainly nowhere near as many showers, but there remains a slim chance some of the eastern suburbs might see a late morning or noontime shower and then clearing up again this afternoon. Some sun in 18. So we're getting the forecast pointed in the right direction. That is a slim chance of showers for the first half of the day only. Tomorrow's sunnier near 20. And again, the only glitch in the long range picture, it's Saturday, a small glitch. Chance of a passing shower likely in the first half of the day. Moving on through back to sun for Sunday. And look at that for the start of summer, which is Monday, we get some sunny weather for a few in a row. Temperatures in the 20s getting us right through Wednesday of next week. Thor a little easier on the roads, I imagine, with all of the downwinds.